Hello and welcome to Infinity. Uh, let's do an, an edit of this picture here. Uh, and in particular, when you've got an architectural picture like this with lots of lines in it, it's always tempting to try and sort of strengthen those lines. So a way to do this is just hit Control J to duplicate the background and then go to Filters, Detect, Detect Edges, which will give you this. And if we Control I to invert it, then we've got this here. We can always then play around with the various blend modes and you can get some interesting effects just doing that. But what's sometimes forgotten is that the opacity is also a kind of blend mode. And the way to do this is bring this down. And in particular when you do like pencil sketch pictures, if you turn it down to about 50% then it will look grey, which is what you get with a pencil sketch. So we've got one here, but this is kind of interesting itself, but it's kind of, it's, it's a bit on the white side, a lot of whites in it. So let's put a curves on it and have a look at the histogram that comes up here. Look at this, all this is wasted. No wonder there's no black in here at all. So we can play around with this. One way to do this is to go to the lab mode and go to the lightness. And now we're just doing the tone and not touching colours at all. And if I pull that down to the edge there, that gets me somewhere and I'm already getting quite an interesting sketch effect here. And maybe to make it a little bit darker again, I can pull this down here. And now we've got a really interesting picture here. So even that in itself is, is quite nice. And see the way it's accentuated all the lines. It becomes more of a cartoon than a photograph, but nevertheless you've got quite a strong image here as this sort of drags your eye into the rest of it. Something else you can do in here is you can turn this into a kind of almost an impressionistic washout effect. Uh, and I do that if I go here to the medium blur. A medium blur is a bilateral blur as well, will uh, blur things but try to preserve the line so it won't just go like a smooth blur everywhere. So you can crank it up fairly high. So if I turn this up here it just starts to break up and as I get up here it's even higher still. And then I can play around with this a bit and um, if I bring the opacity down here, no it's not so good, but what if I turn it up? Ah, now look what I'm doing here. Now it's turned, become very impressionistic. And this is being controlled then with the blur, so I can play around with this blur a bit more. I can bring the original picture back and itself is a, is a bit of an impression. But if you throw it all the way up there and you could uh, type in another number there. Let's try 200. That goes even further. Maybe a bit far. Let's go back down to the to 100. I quite like that as just a, a little thing. And go back to the curves as well because we might find that the histogram here has changed a bit. In fact it's a uh, there you go, look, look at the, that curve here. So we could even pull this one in a bit further to accentuate that, the drama in this. Bring it in for whatever you like. And there you go. We went from the photograph to kind of nice pencil sketch to just an impression, which you could use, for example, as a background or even a texture to illustrate something. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.